Welcome everyone. Uh, this is Tech Tip 101, a segment of this channel where I walk you through step, uh, step by step to the most important things that you can do in five minutes or less to increase your security and privacy of things like your mobile devices and for your whole Wi-Fi network and home network. A lot of people just set their home network up and they forget about it. They take the password and the SSID that were given by their internet provider and that's what they use. But there are so many more steps that you can take and i'm just going to share with you four of the easiest ones that you can do right now first is going to require you to be next to your router so if you can just move next to your router you want to be looking at your router in order to log into the administration page and if you're going to be using any random router the information for this is generally at the back of the router like in this picture over here the first thing you want to change once you've got into your administration portal is to change the SSID. This is an ID that comes up when you're searching for Wi-Fi. And what you may not realize is that a lot of these IDs can be tied back to the manufacturer of that particular router. And what that router may have is known vulnerabilities. So if I, as a hacker, see that particular ID, I know how I can hack it. In addition, it can also be an identifier to know, oh, that Wi-Fi is related to a rich house. What you want to do is you want to remove it and rename it to something that's personally identifiable. Just make it something that changes the name of the SSID and allows you to know exactly what it is. It's not going to make things super secure, but it's a simple change that you can make and it takes you just a couple of minutes for you to be less vulnerable to such risks. Another thing you want to look at is, disab is disabling remote access to your Wi-Fi router. Um, having the ability to remotely access to your Wi-Fi router basically means that you are able to connect into your router physically, although physically you're not at your router. And this, you will never be using this on a daily basis. And for most people, this is an advanced feature. And I would definitely disable this and not enable it whenever you can. And you also step on how you do it. Finally, um, if you have a lot of guests over, one of the things that happens is you tend to give out your Wi-Fi password. And what you don't know is that that password gets stored in their devices basically forever. Now, what that means is that they also have access to your network, depending on how it's set up. That could mean access to your Alexa, access to your Google Assistant, and all those kinds of things. One of the things that I do is, and there's a number of ways how you can set this up, is that I have a separate Wi-Fi network for guests and other people. So I have a Wi-Fi network set up for myself and my devices, and I also have a guest network that's set up for friends so that when they ask me for their password to get in, I'm not giving away my secure password that I use. And it's pretty simple. Um, if you were using Apple, you can use AppWords to do it. And if any general router that most general routers these days have a guest Wi-Fi option available like this footage here. So, well, that's the tips I have for you today. Um, if you've got any other questions about securing your home network, leave them in the comments below. And if you have any suggestions in terms of what we should come up next to help you secure your home network or even secure your devices, do let us know in the comments below so we could come up with more content similar to this. And do provide us a thumbs up as well if you liked what you saw. Thank you.